Welcome back to Doc's Hot Shop and Forge. So, about two years ago, I put in an order just after the great big bushfires of um, the, uh, the black summer that we had in 2019 to um, Seth Wood at Kilcrackney Forge. Um, big shout out to Seth, he's doing amazing work. Um, but the whole point of this hammer was as a counterfoil to this hammer, which is a straight peen. This hammer is a cross peen, or should be, and I ordered it specifically so that I could forge out the um, beards on um, axes. So, let's have a look at this beast, if I can get it out. By the way, you get some funny looks walking around a shopping centre with a hammer like this over your shoulder. So, there it is. And I have to say, I am mighty impressed with this. Um, I can't wait to give it a go. Um, so, I reckon what we need to do is pop out to the steel rack, find some steel, and let's make ourselves a bearded axe. Let's have some fun, eh? I've got this little bit of wrought iron wagon tire, which is from memory two and a quarter, um, so almost 60 millimeters wide. It's a little bit too thick for what I want to do and that is, as I said, make an axe. So we're going to draw this down to 12 millimeters or so, half inch in thickness, and then we're going to do the set ins. Um, I'll see about welding on a piece of steel to the outside of the pole to, to give a harder working surface. It'll be an asymmetrically wrapped eye. And then I need to find a little bit of something that I can uh, taco up a bit of tool steel for the edge and then weld that into this body. And as I said, all of that is so that we can try out our new hammer from um, Seth Woods or Kilcrackney Forge. So it's a beautiful, beautiful German pattern hammer. I have to yet decide if I want to chop the handle down and use it as a single handed hammer or keep it as a sledgehammer. Ideally, and this was the plan when I ordered it, was that it be a matching one to this. So I really am tempted to basically line these up and yoink and then I've got essentially two whopping great big drawing out hammers this one is great for drawing out the body of axes and the point of this one was to draw out beards and so on um, and using it as a sledgehammer is going to be a bit difficult for that so we'll trim it down I think so, let's get this bit hot and uh, let's have some fun. Okay, let's start drawing this piece of steel, this piece of iron down to thickness. So we've got this set for 
many of them left because they will confuse me when it comes time doing the settings. radius at the bottom, not a sharp edge, because that's where the tearing when I've rolled it over is going to occur.
same width and right, get the same width of length.
hot.
So, when I finished forging this, which was almost two weeks ago as, as I'm recording this, um, there's still a fair bit of work to be done. So, a lot of grinding, we've got to get it to shape, fair out a lot of these, um, and decide on just how much to take out of this area here, so we can preserve as much of the width of the beard as we can, because we've actually ended up a bit narrower than I really wanted. Um, and there's a fair bit of grinding. Now, the reason for the delay uh, between finishing the forging and recording this is that I spent a weekend basically cleaning up and washing each and every mill bit, drill bit, minor tooling part, chucks, vices in the machine shop. Everything's been run through the parts washer, everything's been cleaned, oiled, and most of it's been put away. There's still a few of the milling stuff that still needs to be washed, and then we have to start on the woodworking side of things. So there's still a lot of flood cleanup to be done, um, and it is impacting on my video production ability. It's frustrating, and I really wish I could magic it done, but the only way this is going to happen is if somebody knuckles down and actually does the parts washing. So, with that in mind, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, if you have, hit the thumbs up. Feel free to share on social media. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope this has tipped the balance and you've decided to subscribe. It is free after all. If you do subscribe, hit the notification bell so you know when I upload something. So get out to your shop. Have some fun. But do stay safe, and I'll catch you for the next one.